Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still, still a piece, piece of garbage. Uh, hi, guys. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Hey, you. Thank you so much for listening. No matter when you are listening, no matter where you are, get comfortable. Get yourself a cup of tea, a glass, or an entire bottle of wine. Maybe smoke a blunt, get under a blanket, grab yourself some popcorn, and enjoy today's episode. My name is Ellen Moore, and today I am in the studio with my still very always overly excited... <laughs> But very loving personality who happens to just be very loud. Classmate and by now dear friend Kaya. Hi, Welcome back. back to the studio of How I Met Ellen Moore. How are you doing today? I'm still awesome. I love <laughs> recording with you and it always makes me happy. So I'm so glad to hear. Okay, <laughs> let's do the same quick round of questions for if everyone forgot. Um, Kaya, how old are you? Still 19. Where are you from? Dordrecht. What do you do? I try to study journalism with you. <laughs> <laughs> Still trying. Still trying. Still trying very, very hard. All right. Um, how did we meet is what we are going to be sc- discussing in a second. This podcast is about sex. So let's talk about sex. Ooh. With a new guest every week, Ellen Moore brings you your weekly dose of inspiration. Opening up conversations about subjects like mental health, sexuality, self-confidence, friendship, and much more. Giving a platform to the people in her life who've touched her most to inspire others. So how did I decide to want to talk to you about how did sex? I decide? Oh my god. I love my soundboard still. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because one part we didn't say in the last one is... Uh, how we really met, yeah, school, but we were put together in a group. Yeah, we were like dumped into we one. Ki- yeah, well, we were dumped into one group and then you have to do all these group projects. And on day one, we were with about seven people and now it's just four of us four. left. But the thing is, um, <laughs> it's so sitcom because we're like f- four different complete personalities. Literally, we are <laughs> polar opposites, all four of us. I think that the two of us are most similar and the two boys, it's like the boys and the girls and technically she calls me mom like my mom when i call her she picks up she's like hi mom (laughs) well exactly i accidentally called ellen instead of my real mom once that uh, that was i I picked up i was like hey what's up and she was like oh i tried to call my actual mother (laughs) (laughs) bye other mom ginger mom bye bye But, but what's so funny is uh the first few weeks um it's not that i didn't like you i was just like it's ellen because you just didn't really try to reach out to me per se bro (laughs) yeah but i can get that i would maybe be overwhelming because i hear that a lot like uh intimidating or overwhelming because i'm like a lot in your face but then one day i don't know you just smiled at me it was like oh yay she does want to be friends with me and now we're friends so yeah i was just i (laughs) so the second day in school my second day was your third day um because I went out with um, Philip, who I will be recording a podcast with uh, with after this one. So the next one is with Philip about sexuality. Drunk still when I was in school and I did not sleep for a single second. And my eyes were like bigger than my future. And then I just, <laughs> oh my God, I was driving in state. And then she came up to me. She's like, hey. Oh my God. And I was like, oh, Jesus, make this the girl bitch. shut up, please. I literally went like, <laughs> I just couldn't handle my shit. Uh, anyways sex so (laughs) i would never i no i (laughs) you would never okay so i recorded this um series on my youtube channel when i was about 15 i believe hitting the streets with more and when i was recording the season everyone asked me constantly can you please answer the questions out in hitting the streets with more uh, hitting the streets with more yourself and i always somehow got out of that and i feel like today should be the day where we're actually going to be answering the questions all right so do you masturbate kaya of course everyone masturbates all the time i think i'm just gonna (laughs) answer right away uh honestly less lately because i've been way too busy being a college student and by the time you're in bed you're just out (laughs) but i'd say i cannot relate (laughs) i just get way too tired but uh, and also now that I'm dating, it's just a little less because, you know, I'm a little I mean, freaky with my man. Got you. <laughs> uh, but of course, I just, it's also like extremely important, especially while during puberty and growing up, because if you start learning uh, what you like yourself, how, you know, how is someone else not going to know if you don't know? Yeah, so I agree totally with you. Important. Do you watch porn? Not that much because uh, it's just not per se my thing. But I wouldn't, not never. It's really funny because this is really, this is going to sound so dumb. I love watching the bad acting in porn. It's I can't like, believe you've done this. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a real guilty pleasure. The like, 
the acting is so bad and then i'll look at it and be like well, who are they making this for what is this and like oh I, wait it's me yeah i'm just <laughs> i don't get that no not, not for not for sexy purposes <clears throat> but for like humor purposes but for sexy purposes i think obviously lesbians because that's like it's not is that yeah. not the so your favorite genre of porn totally is totally lesbians i agree right? and like yeah i don't i i never put a label on my sexuality i know that i'm most definitely also into men that's certain um i mm. don't know if i'm i've i never had sex with a woman have you um yeah nice uh, the first time was at gay pride <laughs> was after gay pride uh in in belgium if you want to hear the story about gay pride by the way check our previous episode where we are talking about moving around and stuff because and, and then gay pride all of a sudden and, and yeah and it, then it went cocaine? off the rails but have fun with it because yeah we did. it's like it goes from moving to gay pride to cocaine and then <laughs> kind but, of a circle i don't know but yeah so i was 17 there. it was the first time that i actually had sex with a girl uh i'd kissed a bunch of girls um and stuff like that i i kissed all of my friends basically mm -hmm. um you excluded <laughs> like <For> now <laughs> <laughs> careful Ellen. this is this is going kinky real quick i mean that is the, that is the thing so i made her as like homework watch hitting the streets with more how did, how did you like it by the way <laughs> i I think the most my favorite part mm -hmm. was your exit was hearts honestly that was Always. so cute and um honestly i just thought it was uh i just i just loved your energy like hell yeah we're gonna fuck up uh, uh what's, what's the word taboos screw them you yeah. just went for it i was like girl yes this is what we need hell yeah <laughs> but um i think one of my favorite questions was um the the episode where what's your type do you like big boobs or small boobs oh yeah shoot i forgot that i asked those yeah, yeah i big, really like that okay, one let's do it real quick okay. um, with a new no that's not <laughs> oopsie big or small boobs small boobs i don't know remember the room, so. <laughs> oh, uh, same i'd say yeah. smaller because uh well to be honest i am like the chief representative of the itty bitty titty committee Woo, that is me if you want to see my itty bitty titty committee pictures look at my instagram at by a more this is going off the rails real quick but what, what i really liked about that episode was um just hearing how much different types there were and of course the stereotype gorgeous woman is big hips bibs bibs, bibs, bibs big boobs <laughs> and big butt and then you had these men and women say there was a few chicks i think i don't remember yeah uh I saying tried to smaller boobs and a uh, smaller ass and so, to be honest oh yeah ass big or small ass and i don't know i, I don't think do i you like that, a good ass yeah. i'm not gonna lie well there's different kinds of asses though so you have like the really wide one and like the perky one like the so i always describe it as like the big fat gorgeous black lady ass <laughs> and then you have the white tennis chick ass you know you see i, you can, you. I see yeah, it in front of me which you, white tennis like, shoes yeah exactly i am pro tennis but i mean i got i got my big big ass moves you know um i don't have a certain ass type as long as it just fits with the body yeah. type like i do like a little wider hips and if you have white hips you usually also have a you, big big wider, bigger butt yeah um i just like something i, I like can hold you know i cannot lie I cannot lie just something you can like hold hips in the butt and it's just there it's nice in your hands and then the world just makes sense you know i like this i like where this is going <laughs> what uh, at what age did you lose your virginity mom go away <laughs> um uh 15 is like a month before i turned 16 and i was absolutely horrified that was so really? scary yeah because i was like oh well, i don't know what to it was, do it was a guy I'm it was a okay. dude um it's actually the little brother of my best friend now oh god <laughs> so uh that, that what? comes up that yeah. is just <laughs> what the fuck richard <laughs> but no it's just it's just it gets awkward sometimes but um mm -hmm. It's just no idea what was going on. Well, I didn't. It was totally consensual. It was a safe place. It was at home. Was it, are you glad that it was him? Completely, because Good for you. one, uh, I felt really safe at that house because of course my best friend lives there, and mm -hmm. uh, this was like one of my first boyfriends that I really thought this is a boyfriend and not mm -hmm. <laughs> a boy. Yeah. Um, and it was after a really nice day. We're totally <laughs> chill, and no one else was home. That helps. But he was also a virgin. Oh. Um, oh. and that just really made me feel yeah. safe because yeah. I was like. 
neither of us knows what's yeah. happening i'm i'm way too excited about this but like my yeah. first time was not with a virgin so like he knew what he was doing and i was like oh god yeah it was like is it nice to like i, I can imagine that it's really nice to like just like where does this go where does my dick go like <laughs> oh my god you know well i think the best part of us both being uh virgins was that i didn't feel as insecure because uh, on the one hand, having someone who's not a virgin knows what they're doing may be mm-hmm. nice to guide because, of course, we were both going, no, you do something, no, you do something. Yeah. But at the same time, I thought, he's way too busy being insecure about himself yeah. to look at me. That's, yeah. Uh, and that, after, you know, after f- getting into it made me chill. And, That's good. Uh, yeah. So, and I really, for what I could love at mm-hmm. that age, I really loved that that guy. So good. I have no regrets whatsoever. That's nice. I, I, I think I'm... Even though right now I'm I'm not, I don't have a lot of great emotions towards my ex boyfriend. But um, <laughs> your words, not mine, babe. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean I'm I'm so seriously glad that he was the one that I gave all my first to, and I would have done it all over again. Uh, even knowing that he's a self centered asshole right now, I hope he's not listening. I hope he's listening. <laughs> he's probably not. I highly doubt it. You know, um, but. I'm just, I'm very glad that he was that one because he truly made made me feel so self self confident about my sexuality, and I feel like that's also a big part in me. I really grew up in that relationship, and I was struggling a lot in, with a lot of different things during that t- period of time. But mm-hmm. I feel like having him there and like being sure of my sexuality and stuff like that—that that was something I needed in order to be able to grow as a person. Yeah. So I'm I'm very glad I well, he was the one. That is, I think, the most important thing, uh, especially with just getting into sex, is you have to, well, I mean, you do you, but I think the best way to go about it is indeed going with someone that you feel safe with and is giving you that energy, because it's scary, it is. It is scary. You're you're just showing yourself on this super vulnerable, totally new site to you and to the other person, and like, I mean like 99 percent certain no one has ever felt what is inside of you i mean that's so mm. personal you know that is so that's very vulnerable and yeah. I, f- I feel like it's very important for everyone to experience that with someone they are confident with and and relaxed with and if it's a total stranger from a club that's fine too you know if that's your jam do whatever you want to do but just make sure that you actually want it and that you're doing it say and use condoms um yeah i think <laughs> i'm gonna make like you said, more chindies with chindise. only do it safe do it. at my own more, which is, by the way, my Instagram. Getting back to that. Follow her. Follow her. But follow her. especially, like you said, as long as you're cool with it. Yeah. Just do not consent. Go into thing. Yeah, consent because. Period. Uh, I think we've all had moments that we maybe uh, went into something that we weren't completely into, but we didn't uh, want to be, like, lame or something. Or, like, ever have that moment, like, you're not completely into it? Like, maybe kissing or dancing or anything. This but is, just- like, this hurts me hearing you say that because, like, I feel like so many women think it's okay to... Because they feel pressured. Yeah. Because they feel like they have to. And I think that because of my very good sexual experiences, I am, I've always been very confident because I've taken guys home from a club more than once and then when he was there, he wanted sex and I was like... I'm sorry, but you don't turn me on. This is not going to happen. Can you leave? And they just go, what? And they like try things. And I'm like, no, 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 this is not happening. And if you're not going to leave right now, I'm going to either get my flatmate or I'm going to call the police because this is not what we're going to do. And you don't have the right to force me to have sex with you just because you came home with me. That is not my responsibility. Consent, period. And I feel like if there's any like young girls listening to this and they feel pressured into that don't do it don't. it's your body you are in in it's it's your body you get to cho- choose whoever enters and whoever doesn't going home is not a yes taking off clothes is not a yes the only yes is an actual yes and even if Thank this you, is your babe. boyfriend yes exactly it doesn't matter if it's your boyfriend or anyone any clothes only if you want to yes bitch exactly only only way the only way. Period. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, okay, if you play this music, you might get a yes, but... <laughs> What's your favorite sex position? This is this is All good right. stuff. Um, oh, by the way, so how I, how I came up with, like, I want to record this podcast with yeah. you about sex. So this is what happened. We were sitting in, oh, yeah. <laughs> in the hallway, and we 
uh, like a friend of ours, Jasmine and Kaya and me were, were having a talk about, I don't know, but somehow it ended up being about sex toys. And I, I don't think it's that hard to get the two of us to talk about sex. But I mean, we were talking about sex toys and it was about anal beads and like um, vibrators and dildos and shit. And these two girls from our class, oh God. <laughs> they were sitting there like, oh my God. And they, they were like, oh my God, what yeah. are they talking about? And then these two boys were sitting there and they were like, Oh, this is quite interesting, actually. <laughs> they were, like, paying so well attention. They were, like, they're taking notes, like, okay, 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 I this got, and that. I, yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> so I, and I was like, yeah, I, I got to, like, have this conversation, but then, like, on a podcast. So to get back to my question. um, Honestly, it depends. Okay, I know which one I hate. I hate 69ing. It's, so, like, you're really back awkward. breaks. Well, that's not even it. It's like, I feel like, I'll feel like I'm too heavy if I'm on top. But I don't i don't i feel like i never got it because like if you have you ever come on top of someone's face it's not i hate that i hate sitting on faces but did you actually come no i i I could never do it either and i i tried tried it's way too busy with uh, this is uncomfortable yeah that's just me if you like it go for you girl what um no good for you i'm jealous of shit i'd say the best (laughs) is um i don't know i don't know what it's called Okay, so like he'll be sitting up straight, and then you'll be like on bouncing on top of him. I don't know what it's called. I don't know all the names. I, I didn't think read the I don't know the name either. I think it's kind of cowgirl, but then it's not. It's no sporty it's, cowgirl. <laughs> I'm gonna call it that. But are you facing him? Or yeah, I'm are... facing him. You want to look at him in the eyes, and, you know? Okay, so it's it's him sitting up straight, cowgirl, and if he is trained well he grabs you and he does the work <laughs> oh girl ellen looks so excited right now oh, guys girl. she is smiling as if like god has bestowed love be- uh, upon her there is a pool right beneath my chair <laughs> what's your favorite um oh yes oh here it comes oh yes i know the answer immediately any guys listening so um <laughs> <laughs> there's this position like lay down dog so like lay down doggy basically he's behind you you're lay uh-huh. you're laying down and then his legs are outside of yours so um only his dick is between your is inside of you and then your legs and then his legs so everything is tight as fuck <laughs> <laughs> and you're gonna make him come like a motherfucker trust me I don't know. That just. I love that. Yeah. No. It just. God. I'm actually gonna be releasing this. That is just. Oops. Oh my God. <laughs> I love my soundboard, soundboard so much. When you're laying there, do yeah. you like being spanked? I don't. You don't. Why not? Because I was abused as a kid, and being spanked just no. immediately brings me back to that those memories. And this is actually the first time I'm seeing this on something I'm publishing. So that's that's yeah. the first. Proud of you, girl. Being strong. Yeah. yeah stop victim blaming ladies and gentlemen exactly and um oh hi thanks for checking in i'm <laughs> still, still a piece, piece of garbage, garbage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but uh no i get that and uh that's also why communication is so important yeah. during sex. Because, no literally there was yeah. one situation where i so i for some reason i always had a hard time um i mean my first boyfriend it took us four months to make me come oh and i masturbated from when i was like 11 so (laughs) and i lost my virginity at 17 so i knew how to get myself off Mm -hmm. you know that wasn't the issue i just i don't know what happened but eventually he pulled it off after four months and then at one point he (laughs) could make me come 12 times in 10 minutes so i mean mm -hmm. um can i get his number (laughs) Uh uh-huh no he's an asshole oh screw him (laughs) (laughs) anyways i uh i right after him i I couldn't do it and there was Mm. was a lot of guys in between and then this one random guy who um (laughs) he he was from tinder and i like he came over and like within five minutes after entering my door he made me come no slut shaming here this is a safe space thank you ladies and gentlemen um only love here only love here exactly and um I was like, okay, if he can do that without knowing me, without having a proper conversation with the guy, it's not because he's that hot, you know? He's hot, but he's not, you know, I'm... He was okay. No, he was really hot, but it's not because of that. I just, I figured. Um, And from that moment on, I literally told guys when getting home with them or like when, whenever I was in a situation where I was like, okay, now I'm going to have sex, I would be like, all right, I have three rules. No spanking, no butt stuff, and you're going to make me come. (laughs) (laughs) Amen. And they do it. They actually do. 
Yeah, but I, I think that's actually a really good idea is yeah. just setting rules right away. Yeah, because then they know. They know, especially like uh, one time I was um, uh, doing things with my with my then boyfriend and um, he just decided to put it in the wrong hole. What? I was so pissed off. Like, we were a little drunk, so it was like, he would never... He, mm-hmm. not, not saying this guy's an asshole, but... Um, I did not want to have sex with him for like a whole week after that because I was just like rightfully shook. I get that yeah um, no. your body's literally shook yeah yeah but after that we actually had a really good conversation about like first of all sorry he didn't mean it but um just talk during it and not even yeah. dirty talk just hey can you do this or stuff and yeah oh my people God. would think that's a boner killer but no, honestly no, 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 no. you know it can be like if you say um so i you know it's about confidence you know confidence is sexy and oh it's so hot communication is sexy because it makes Mm -hmm. it made me feel safe and exactly the safer and chiller you are the better the sex is going to be if you're tense the whole time you're going it's it's just not going to be the same yeah no it's it's 100 percent polar opposites right there and if, if especially if it's the first time you're having sex with someone you don't know their bodies you don't know what they like and if they're not telling me what to do and i'm trying things and they're just not being really it's so important to communicate yeah. and i feel like that's why i'm really g- grateful that my first time was with my boyfriend at the mm-hmm. time and that i got to experience all those things and that i got to try out all those things because now i know what i like and i'm confident about communicating about it because n- now i'm just like no no, no wait a little yeah oh mm-hmm. right there you know and i'm confident about asking for those kinds of things and i feel like it's really important to do that so if any young girls listening to this and is like i don't know how to ask and i feel i don't feel confident asking just do it just he's, ask. he's gonna like it and like there is not a single guy in the world who doesn't like making a girl come exactly. if he's straight you know and yeah you know, unless he's asexual but that's no. yeah there is nothing sexier than consent and actually mm-hmm. someone being into it because dude if someone's telling me i'm doing a good job you better believe that i'm gonna keep going because you know yeah I like my ego like that <laughs> <laughs> exactly long nails there was short nails and long nails oh yeah i like long nails i'd say oh do you like back scratching hair pulling choking yes. spanking hit it okay well What's definitely your... i'd say i'd say a ch- okay, if you're a chick who's into chicks, you should have one short nail hand and one long nail hand. One short nails for, uh, <laughs> exactly. Preach, baby. And long ones to scratch a bit. Because mm-hmm. honestly, I like scratching and pulling, not too much, because I mean, I'm here for a good time. Mm-hmm. Don't don't actually hurt me. Just, you know, let's be fun. Yeah. Uh, I, I do like choking as well, but d- d- very yeah, careful. No. Very well, careful. There is a difference between someone just closing your throat and someone choking you yeah and i love being choked but i don't want to die no you know i mean i didn't literally mean it when i said fuck me to death you know yeah no (laughs) and i didn't literally mean it when i said please fuck the living shit out of me (laughs) you know but uh these are also just things you gotta try but do you like spanking i do well what? I, it's funny because okay, like, what happens in your brain when you're being spanked because my uh, brain just goes oh my god no leave me alone ah cry baby no ah uh i, I just know. think like um good it explanation gives, <laughs> very good i, I got it <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I had a total visual of your head right. um uh i think it's just kind of this adrenaline kick that just goes into you because um everything is just uh of course for everything is a lot more sensitive mm-hmm. and stuff and just get a little spank like you know when you're right okay this is really like, weird you know when there's a horse in a movie and they like whip it yeah. and it goes faster Boom. you're like the horse <laughs> in the movie I like the horse but uh i think it's just also a bit of uh everyone like has their own version of power play either you like mm-hmm. being the more submissive one or the dominant one it's funny because with men i am totally submissive mm-hmm. and with women i like being the daddy more i don't mm. know why i cannot explain it yes but, daddy uh, exactly and uh oh it's uh, it's also fun to have their reaction because if they spank you, you go ah uh, and they you see them go ooh ha ha you know it's fun <laughs> it's fun on both ends What's mm-hmm. the, what's the weirdest place where you had sex? Can I can I just tell mine? Yes, I go really, ahead. Go I'm ahead. Dying I see it. You're dying. Story. You're about to explode. Go. <laughs> so, I had sex on a train in the middle of just like literally inside of the train, and it wasn't like it was an empty train in the middle of the night. Oh it was God. like there was people like sitting next to me, in front of me, behind me, every <laughs> just everywhere. The whole thing was loaded, and um. I cannot get into too much detail, otherwise people will know about who this is, but 
anyways, I was on a long train ride. Let's keep it at that. It was summer and uh, I was with a guy who I at the time was, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> and that was mutual. So I decided to just go commando and I was wearing a dress and uh, he was wearing uh, shorts. But I mean, you can zip them open. <laughs> I mean, uh, oh my god, oh my god, yeah, and so I just sat on top, and as the train was going, ding, 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 <laughs> I went, ding, 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 but could you actually come? Because I'd be like way too busy with, <laughs> oh, <laughs> in a train, nice, that was. That was not my best voice ever, <laughs> but I also happen to sing. I make music. I write my own songs. So if you haven't checked them out, I'm just gonna shout Please out my check Instagram it out. again. It's by Ellen Moore, as well as my YouTube channel. Um, but were you able to come on the No, channel? but I've never come because of someone penetrating me. No, that's why you should touch I'm yourself so, while you're being penetrated. I tried more yeah. than once. I cannot do but i got this new sex toy which is called the womanizer is that the suck thing <clears throat> yeah it's the Ooh. vacuum suck thing it's nice Not i really like anyways yeah no I, I i can't do it but i'm gonna try it with the womanizer so maybe after i tried with the womanizer and i actually pulled it off or i didn't but hopefully i didn't hopefully i know i really hope so um maybe we should record a second uh, second uh, po sex podcast because i think Updates. we're running out of time oh crap um, thank you so much for listening. Thank you for doing this again with me. I, I really love had, you, Ellen, so much. I love you too. And I really had an awesome time talking about a whole lot of sex with you. <laughs> the next podcast is going to be with my gay best friend, Philip, about sexuality coming out and doubting about all those kinds of things. So I really hope to have you listen to that next podcast for now. Thank you so much for watching. And I would love to talk to you soon. Yeah. Follow Ellen on, uh, on Instagram, guys. And bye, Ellen Moore. Bye, guys. Okay, bye. Amazing. I can't let mom show this. <laughs>